This is context mind and it's a visual way of doing keyword research. Normally we would take our primary keyword, enter it into a keyword research tool and then get a report back we could work with. But context mind works a little bit different. So let's dive in. Keyword research or search analysis as some might call it is super important for your content to succeed. So let's dive into context mind and make our first keyword research. So you can see here that I have already been playing with one of these keyword research maps and right here I'm using WordPress as my primary keyword. But let's make a new map and we here need to enter a name, we need to enter description and then some text describing what it is that we're trying to make a keyword research around. So in this example, I have used outdoor furniture as my name of the map. I have just explained briefly what outdoor furniture is and then I've added some different tags to help the AI of context mind go in the direction that I want these keywords to be. So let's press create here and see how this map will now turn out. So to begin with, we will just get an empty map that we can work with. So you can see here, when we start out, we have some related concept. We have our empty mind map here, and then we can add some notes and some different things. But to begin with, I will take my primary keyword and then I'll add it here. So now we have the outdoor furniture as a primary keyword. When I click on the keyword, I get some metrics where we can see search volume and where the source is. So right now, all of the data that we see within context mind come from SpyFu and SpyFu only. I know that they are working on having more sources to get keyword data. So I hope that we will see even more precise data, but also just have more keywords to work with because what I will show you in a moment is that they don't have so many specific long tail keywords. But let's continue with the example here. We have outdoor furniture and within outdoor furniture, we get suggestions. And this is suggestions that you can write about pulled from the search result page. So if I like this specific section here, I can simply just pull it in to my mind map and now I have that saved. If you scroll further down, then they also have text generated by AI. And this is a great way to help you easily get started writing about outdoor furniture. Because with this text, we can now start basically writing our article. It is just an introduction. But what I usually do is that I map these together. So now we have outdoor furniture, I have some text generated by AI, and then I have my suggestion as well. In this little box here, I can add keywords also. So for instance, here we have couch, I will add that as well. And we have chair, I will also add that in here. So now we have couch and chair related to outdoor furniture. I would like to see outdoor chair and outdoor couch. But right now that has not been suggested. We can load more to see all the options. But for now, this is fine. So we have here our outdoor furniture. And what I think is brilliant about context mind in this case is that we can build groups of keywords that we can focus on. Because when it comes to content, if you build a website and you write about everything within a broad niche, then you're just not gonna succeed. You really need to start narrow and maybe just start with an outdoor couch and then you write everything you can about an outdoor couch and then you go over to an outdoor chair and then slowly you build up to basically cover the topic outdoor furniture. It's so important that you start with those small areas within your topic because that shows Google that you have authority within that topic and that will make Google trust you even more. If you write one article about chairs, one about couch, one about a fireplace outside and maybe how you take care of your garden, then you can see it's everywhere around and Google will not be able to decide where does your authority lay within. So that is why it's super important to make these types of groups where you just exhaust everything there is within outdoor furniture and we can even take one of these keywords out and then build another group based on this. But you can see all the suggested keywords down here. There are some long tail keywords. And if I click on this outdoor furniture again, you can see that right now it is from related keywords because we pulled it from related concepts. We can also add the plus here. And then you can see that we have the same keywords down here, but we can also enter our own keyword that we know that that has traffic. So in this case, it could be outdoor furniture. 
made of wood for instance. So you can see here it has outdoor wood fired boiler and it has garden furniture. That is the topics, but it does also have these specific keywords where it has outdoor furniture made from wood pallets, outdoor furniture made out of wood pallet wood and so on. So here I'm getting some ideas that I need to write about outdoor furniture made from wood pallet. The reason why I think I should write about this is because the search volume is quite high and the ranking difficulty is all the way down to 22, which is quite low. So I'll add this to my map and then I'll start to exhaust this specific keyword. So if I click on this, then you can see that we get other similar keywords that we can drag up and then we can start basically just writing about outdoor furniture made from wood pallets. Right now I have three keywords about outdoor furniture made of wood pallet and they are very, very similar. I would say that it's almost the same, but I would like to have more of these types of keywords. Maybe something like how to handle outdoor furniture made from wood pallets, something like that, just to broaden the niche a little bit, but still stay within the topic that we are trying to cover. And I think that's one of the issues by only having one source. They only have Spyfu to pull in all of the keywords and all of the data. And that limits us because then we are only able to see the data that Spyfu has. It would be great to see maybe if they could integrate with Ahrefs or SEMrush. I don't know if it's possible, but if they could and then drag all the data from there, because those two are the biggest sources within backlinks, keywords, research in general when it comes to SEO. So if we could see integrations like that, I think it would really make context mind even a more sophisticated tool within SEO so we can continue to make these visual keyword research maps instead of the traditional way where we basically just get a report out. But now when I have my list of keywords, I would really like to have maybe an ordered list of the prioritized keywords where it takes a combination of how many are searching on this every month and how low is the keyword difficulty. So I will get a list of the easiest keywords with the most search volume first, and then I can start focusing on them and work my way down the list. Right now, if I have maybe 50 keywords within one of these topics, it will be quite difficult for me to get an overview of what to work on first. But when we work within the mind map, we also have some settings up here. And within the settings, you can choose where the data should come from. Right now, I have chosen personal, related, trending questions and related keywords. You can also choose to get headings from the search results and you can choose to get community concepts, which can often be interesting because this is questions asked on Quora or Reddit, maybe even that they are pulling out. And often there are questions in there that a lot of people are searching on that no websites had written about. So that's really interesting. So let's take community as well. Here you can choose whether it should automatically link for you and whether the link should be straight. But one important thing is the target country and language. Because here, if you're building a keyword research for another country than an English speaking country, then you need to choose it in here. And right now they don't support that many languages. It is mainly English speaking languages, but they do also have some Spanish, uh, Slovakia. So they have started to support languages and countries which are not English. So that's great to see. For now, I'll just keep it at United States. You can also work with map properties, which we said in the beginning, and then map actions as well. So here you can export it as text. You can create a copy of the map and so many more options here. But one thing that's super interesting is the share function. You can share this map with your coworkers, colleagues, or maybe you have someone writing your content for you. And then they can also elaborate within the keyword research map here. They can add their own keywords just as you are sitting and doing it within context mind. And they don't need to create a user or anything. So you can choose to just copy the link and then send it. You can also choose the iframe or you can export it and send it as an image or a PDF. While I was testing context mind, I was tweeting about it. And that is what I regularly do when I test these products. I tweet about my experience doing testing what I'm testing and if anyone has any questions doing my testing. So if you want to be updated on that process, then follow me on Twitter because I share every update of all the products that I test every single week. Now, if you don't want to start from scratch, then they do also have some public mind maps. So you can go in here and then you can search on, let's try WordPress in this case, 
And then all the public mind maps that has been made in here based on WordPress are now accessible. So here you can see basically everything. And there's a huge one here called work. Doesn't seem completely relevant to WordPress. And the further I go down, the less relevant they become. So up in the top, we have how to speed up WordPress. That seems quite interesting. Let's try and press on that and then see. So it is an interesting topic, but right now it is very simple. It is just how to speed up website load time, WordPress. And then we have a small topic covering down here. So the public roadmaps can be an interesting way of getting started using Context Mind. But overall, when I search about Context Mind to see what other people think, people like the design, they like the way that it works, the way you can build your visual keyword research. But I can see that a lot of people are mentioning the data issue, that there's just not enough data and the data that we have is just not exhaustive enough. But talking about the future, I know that they're working on a better H2 and H3 reading. So these are the headers. So we will get better results from the headers that they will pull from all the search results. And then I know that they're working on elaborating their AI because right now their AI is simply just learning from Wikipedia and from their data sources, but they want to elaborate it so it can learn from all the websites. So everything that it crawls from the search results on Google, for instance, it will then go into every single result, read the content and then learn from that to be able to suggest better keywords. And I think if they can solve that correctly and in a way that it works, that will definitely be a game changer. So I'm very interested in that feature, but it seems that it is further out in the future. So based on the current state of context mind, I want to give them three and a half stars. It is an interesting approach to a keyword research, but we just don't have enough data. It is so important we get more data. But at the price of 19 US dollars, it does make sense because compared to Ahrefs or Semrise, for instance, $19 is very cheap. So the current state, I will say, is definitely a fair price. And if you like to build your keyword research in a visual way so you can easily cover the specific topics, then I will say it's definitely worth it. At least give it a try. And if you want to try it out, then there is an affiliate link in the description down below where you can test it out for 60 days. And if you don't like it, then return it within those 60 days and you will get all your money refunded. But if you want to see a similar tool to Context Mind, where you can build this keyword research, where you have more data, then check out SEOdity up here, which I've previously reviewed. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.